Hello everybody, welcome to another episode from Vitech, Visual Innovative Technology. As you can see here, I have a regular Joomla installation. This will work on a installation for WordPress as well. Basically, what we're trying to do here is this lovely error. I'm going to go ahead and switch it back. You may have seen it before. But this is regarding when you try to... When you're inside of your Joomla installation and pretend you want to install an extension and you're going to run into a little bit of an error here. So let's go ahead and go to Extension Manager, upload a package, and we'll just pick a random package here. There, that's a good one. Or we could do Font Awesome, it's not a big deal. But you'll get an error that says your maximum file size upload. Well, it's too small. Basically, all that means is you need to change something. Now, throughout the internet, they tell you to change things. If you are just a regular, you know, either Bluehost or Go HostGator or GoDaddy, and you just buy the regular package, you will have a INI file, this PHP INI file, located in your cPanel folder. I'll show you the first how it looks, so you guys are, just in case you do run into this. No wait, wrong one. There we go. I don't have a certificate installed on this quite yet, so, and then um, you log in with your credentials, very good, no, I'm fine, thanks, you'll click on file manager, and this is what the internet tells you usually what to do, and then inside here you'll also have a PHP any file, I didn't have a PHP any file, so what originally what I had was this, right, it looked exactly like this when I installed my Joomla installation, so I said, well, how do I fix this error? maximum PHP file upload is too small. It's really simple. They tell you, oh well, just make a new file and call it php.any. No, that doesn't work. If you are running a VPS or maybe your hoster, um, your host doesn't provide you access to edit your PHP configuration inside of your cPanel, which is usually right here, there's a PHP configuration page, you'll see upload style 2 megabytes. So what you gotta do, you gotta get a hold of your WHM or if you have a VPS, log on to your WHM. You'll go to your search, log into your WHM, type in service service, there you go, service configuration. You're gonna click on this little cog. You're gonna go ahead and go to PHP, where is it? You're going to go ahead and click on the PHP configuration editor, and there you're going to see your core upload underscore max file size is set to a specific file type. You, so you can increase it to whatever. Uh, maybe temporarily you just want to give it 10 megabytes. You can give it as much as you want. You hit save, and all your PHP files have been written for every person inside of your uh, VPS folder. And then if you go back and you choose that same extension, or whatever your extension is, as long as it's under the 10 megs, you'll be fine. You'll upload it, and it says uploading. Once the upload is finished, it will work just fine. So this is just a, and you can confirm this by refreshing this, and there you go, 10 megabytes. And, um, and then of course it should just work right there as well. So it's at 69%, 70%. And we'll go ahead and log out of here for security purposes. We'll do it the right way. So I thought this would just be a very simple tutorial uh, on how to fix this error. Maximum PHP file upload size is too small. And there you go. It worked. The plugins are correct. So uh, find out what your upload sp size of your plugin or template is going to be. Let the VPS manager know, or whoever's managing your WHM, or if you're doing your WHM, and you'll have to go into service configuration, look for the PHP configurator, change your upload to the size that you need, save it, php.any is going to be written across the board, and you should be ready to go. Hopefully this has been informative, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.